Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we're mowing uh, the horse pastures and stuff again. Uh, actually different ones because we where we rotate the horses, we like to mow them and then let them kind of recover and, and come back a little bit and then put the horses on it. And the one that I'm working on this evening is actually, we waited way too long to mow it. We should have actually mowed it two or three times this season already, but we didn't. I got behind on stuff, had a lot of other projects and stuff going on, so um, this one is just now getting mowed, but they're in a different pasture right now, and it'll be a few weeks before they're actually ready to start grazing on this one, so um, it should kind of recover and come back in time for them to, uh, to be able to move to the next pasture. So let me take you around, kind of show you what we've got. Uh, I've already been mowing for a while, mainly because time restraints. It is hard to set up any kind of camera stuff and get shots of all this, plus actually get the work done. And we've got so much mowing and so much stuff to have to do around here that it's it's really hard time restraint wise to, uh, uh, to be able to get all this stuff done and, and get all this, but we'll do the best we can. So uh, let me kind of show you a few things and show you the area I'm mowing in. It's funny because this pasture, you'd think that it's just a big field but it, seems, it changes every year, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, the horses are over in the other pasture right now. And you can see, this was the one I mowed a few weeks ago uh, with the zero turn. And the grass has come back, is recovering, and it's nice and green all the way out through there. Nice, lush looking grass, actually. It looks really good. And over here is the pasture we're going to be moving them to. And this actually was nothing but weeds and briars. And you can see bare spots, but this is where the pasture changes so much. Because this part of the pasture is a lot more sloped than where they're at right now. I'm actually standing down below uh, that pasture. And... As the horses travel in here and graze, they wear a path. And they actually wear multiple paths. So what ends up happening, and you can see right here, there's several inches that they've actually wore this down. But up here, it's, it's up high. So as you're coming through here with your mower and your tractor, and you're trying to mow up to the fence line, like say last year, I could mow all the way to the fence line, well, you got one tire up high, then you have this extra drop off. It makes this extra steep, so it makes it kind of dangerous. So you have to really go slow and kind of be careful and uh, watch for this because it's it's sideways. And when you've got a machine, all that weight, and you get it just a little bit too far, there's no coming back from it. It's either it's either on the ground or it's flipped over pretty much. So we definitely don't want to flip it over. So here's a section I've already mowed, and you can see the uh, the hay or the grass and stuff has actually started coming in pretty good because, like I say, this was all briars and weed patch two years ago. And all we did was started mowing it down and trying to keep it cleaned off. And I guess the seed where the horses eat and all that stuff, like, in, and then... It, it kind of uh, plants the seeds and spreads it around. Plus, what blows off of the actual hay field and stuff up there. Uh, you know, all this is hay field and stuff up in here where the horses are at. And the seed spreads. So over time, then it'll just start growing hay and grass and stuff in here. Still has a lot of weeds and stuff mixed in it. But it's coming along pretty good.
this heel has some pucker factor to it. Um, you know, I mowed all this before with the same tractor and everything. And like I said before, it, it doesn't really... Uh, I didn't have any problems with it. But that's before we actually started turning the horses and stuff out in it. So as the horses have wore the ground and, you know, where they go along the sideways areas... They, they go across it so that they're not going up and down it because it's easier for them. Well, as they do that, they wear grooves along the, the ground, and that makes high and low spots. So as you're getting on those sideways, um, then you it might not work out for you to have the groove that they're in on the low spot, and you might be on the high spot and they're grooving the low, and it makes it that much steeper. Um I could mow this up and down and you know a lot of you are probably saying why don't you just go back and forth up and down it because that takes a lot longer to do than actually running the whole length and not spending all your time you know backing up and going forward backwards all that kind of stuff and if I can mow it sideways I will if it gets to the point where I'm feeling like it is too steep then yeah for sure i'll go up and down and right now actually where i have my front loader off uh when i go up it if i do the least little bit like if i if i raise my bush hog up my front tires will come off the ground like it's steep enough to where that really you need some kind of ballast on the front if you're going to mow it up and down but if i'm mowing it sideways and i take the loader off the front it makes it a lot more stable because all the weight is back on the back tires and if you have weight up on the front plus the loader the loader arms go up above the tires and the axles and all that stuff on the tractor so it puts that much more weight up on the top well your front doesn't add any stability all your stability on your tractor comes from the back so the more weight you have in the front going sideways uh, especially like a loader then the easier it is to tip over so i take the loader off and mow it sideways and have all the weight in the back the rear tires are loaded plus the weight of the bush hog right on the very bottom helps it feel pretty stable it feels pretty planted in most situations every once in a while you'll get to an area where it you know it'll feel kind of like whoa maybe i maybe i shouldn't go that steep um so i try to go around those kind of places but anyways uh, it is getting dark. I'm going to finish this up tomorrow and uh, we'll It's getting to the point where the grass and everything is getting wet and that actually starts getting dangerous too because you could slide over the hill in wet grass. So anyways uh, We'll get back at it tomorrow morning and get this field finished up